morning, y'all. Good morning. Five in the morning. So, get some things done before it's time to head out. So today, I'm gonna take a walk. I'm trying to prove, prove a theory. Well, we had a theory. So, yesterday I walked. Fitbit, my phone says I walk three miles. And my Fitbit said I walk, I mean, I burn like 1,100 calories. My phone said about 900 or something. And I was like, wait, I be doing whole workouts and I don't burn that much. So, from walking, you telling me I burn more calories? So I watch some videos on it or whatever. Some people say, yeah, it's better than running and, and uh, other types of exercise for low impact. But I gotta find out for myself. So I said, let me come out here, do it again, and see if I burn more calories by walking. Than I would doing a whole exercise. So if that's the case, then I'm gonna get out here and walk every day in the morning. I already be uh, intermittent fasting. I really don't have my first meal. Maybe uh, sometimes when I get home around 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, depending on how I'm feeling that day, I may wait till around uh, 2 or 3 in the afternoon. If I feel a little stressed, which I'm trying to get better with, I may have a meal. But uh, I try to wait till I get home. One, ain't nothing but crap. Uh, stores around my where I work um, and if I don't prepare nothing for lunch then I may wind up eating crap so I said nope I stop that I'm not gonna have nothing I'll just wait till I get home and I'll just uh, drink water or tea or coffee but like I told you before Stop coffee, and I think I'm on oh, two weeks. I forgot when I started. I think a week or two. I, I really can't remember. But I know this weekend was really hard. This is a hard weekend. I was feeling withdrawn. My wife, she didn't have her coffee, and she like hers sweet and light. So that flavor, that creamer, that was like, ugh, I need some coffee. Uh, I fought it off, fought it off. Then I went to go rest some errands on um, Saturday, and nothing. <laughs> Nothing went my way that day. I, I could say I, I really didn't get too much done that day. It was just back to back, uh, waste time situations. And it had me stressed. And I wanted some coffee. I wanted a drink. But I, I said I'm leaving, uh, you know, alcohol a little too. I, don't, I ain't drinking, I ain't coffee. Uh, I said, I'm not gonna do as much red meat. I had red meat yesterday. That was the first time in a week I was eating chicken and fish all week. So once a week is good. But if you made ribs, I ain't had that in a while. So I know I had to get those. Goal is 
try to, you know, get as healthy, look as healthy as possible. I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I ain't trying to do crossfit. That's all I look good. That's all I feel good for myself. Be able to keep up with my son. So, he, he's not stop ball of energy, so I gotta be able to keep up with him. And if I don't, who knows what kind of trouble he's gonna get into. That boy crazy. Oh, that was... I said I'm gonna do it. It's just a challenge for myself to see if I can do it. Um, and I just, I, you know, I was looking at some videos, some uh, YouTube videos, and I kept seeing the topic of uh, semen retention. And I'm like, what the hell is this? You know, at first I keep seeing the topic, but I never clicked on the. Uh, clicked on the video to see what it's about. So, um, this weekend, I finally decided to say, all right, let me see what this is about. And uh, my wife happened to be sitting right there with me. So we watched it together. And it's basically, you know, uh, they call it, uh, semen retention or no fat. So no fat is basically um, dudes who swore off uh, porn and masturbation. Like they made a, a, a truce not to that's what they need that stuff. See, the retention is just, um, you know, not having any sex or like ejaculating your semen for a certain period of time. Uh, a lot of dudes were going like 100 days or better, some 30. Um, they say that it's you only need uh, two weeks of it. They say the cycle is like a two-week cycle, and they say after a certain period, that a certain amount of time, there's a cycle that happens to the semen where once it uh, enters your testicles, it needs time to mature, and then after that process, um, if it's not used, then the body uh, breaks it down, uses it, use it, uses it as energy, and so goes on the cycle. And as you do this, uh, you become stronger, more mentally focused. Uh, uh, it improves skin, it improves uh, hair, um, and a few other things. I can't really remember, you know, I just started looking into this. So, once I do some more research, I can get it. So, I said, I should try this. You know, just for that.
today is the first day. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I done did a lot of things. I done been disciplined in a lot of things. <laughs> this is gonna be one of the hardest. I don't even wanna call it challenges. <laughs> this is gonna be hard, y'all. Uh, you know, but it's just one of those things that I'm not comfortable with. So I would say, you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I know it's gonna be days where I wake up and it's, I would be like, man, fuck that. It's gonna be nights, but I'm like, man, fuck that. But. I'm gonna have to hold true. I'm gonna have to stay strong. You know, I'm a, 30 days. You know, I'm giving myself 30 days. I wanna see how I feel after 30 days. You know, and I keep y'all updated. As long as, uh, you know, 5 in the morning when I get out here, I'll let y'all know I'm gonna make it through the night. On the weekend, really don't go live too much on the weekend, but I'll let you know Monday, you know, that following weekend if I made it through the weekend. But it's gonna be rough, y'all. Let's see how that goes. If you know anything about that, like, hit me up. Let me know what to expect. Uh, let me know if you did it, um, how you felt. If your man did it, pops did it, whatever, I don't know. Somebody you know is doing it, let me know what to expect. Send me a comment, send me a message. Let me know what to expect. And if you're still rocking with me, you know, thank you so much. I love it. Uh, you know, you can check out my YouTube, Give It A Bell Live. Uh, you could uh, right here. And you just tap on the description of this video. Uh, you can check out my store. Buy some merch, support me. In the description, you can uh, go to my Facebook page. Follow me there. Join that community. In the description, once again, you know, help me out, guys. Like, if you if you want to come on the show, you want to talk about a topic, uh, let's go. I'm open. If you don't agree with something, if you agree with something, if you have some advice, you know, hit me up. I'm open. I just want to say once again, thank you, Eddie and everybody who sticking with me, who staying, who supporting, and I hope we can bring more along because this ain't nothing but positive vibes. Uh, learning, teaching. You know, motivating each other to move to that next level. You know, I'm just, I, I don't know everything, and I'm learning, I'm always learning. If you have something you could teach me, I'm, let's go. Um, until my next podcast, until my next video, until my next vlog, I want to say thank you. And everybody be safe, wear your mask, uh, social distance. Let's get through this pandemic so we can get back to our regularly scheduled program. I miss traveling. I miss social settings. I want to see you guys again. All right, thank you. Love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop a new video. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you guys next time.